Alan Pitney from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm uh, back out in the factory. <laughs> uh, it's been a busy little morning. I uh, got all the orders out. I had quite a few orders. And I built another Never Never Stove. And that was the last one. I'm all caught up now. Everybody that wanted a, of this last wave wanted a Never Never Stove has got it. I shipped out uh, Joe's stove about 20 minutes ago and I shipped out Roberts and Duane's and everybody else's. I've sold so far uh, so far I've built and sold uh, 10 of them. Now uh, I'm all caught up. If you would like a never stove uh, email me and I'll put you on the waiting list and start building again. Uh, that seems to work pretty well. People email me, say they want a stove, and when I get one built for them in the order that I get the in the order that I get the orders, uh, I will email them and tell them that I have one available. They can PayPal me, and I'll send it right out. That's worked pretty well. Now I uh, went to the dump today. <laughs> uh, went to the post office and didn't really. Didn't really accomplish too much today. I did make uh, more SS remotes this morning, and the reason why I had to do that was uh, every one of these never stoves that goes out goes out with an SS remote. And what I've been doing is, and this is a good thing to tell you, uh, I've been using, I've, after I build the stove, I fire it up and play with it for about an hour. And I shim the remote up uh, to where it works the best. Whenever, when I get all done, I measure it and write right on the bottom of the remote what elevation I had it at. You know, three quarters an inch, inch, inch and a quarter, whatever. And that's worked, uh, I think that's going to work pretty well. Uh, it may not work the same for other people, the same as it did for me, but on a good level bench, uh, that's a good starting point. Now, if uh, you look inside of the port, the air port and the stove, and you see alcohol burning in the bottom, uh, then your remote is too high. On the other hand, if it burns orange uh, and the felt starts to turn orange, you'll see an orange glow in it, then it's probably too low. Now what I do when I start out with a never stove, uh, I lift the remote up till I feel the wick getting wet. Then I put it all together, put the pots in on everything, and then uh, I light it. And then I pick it up until some of the alcohol spills over inside and goes down into the base actually flood it, but it's all inside the stove so it doesn't hurt anything. And that will help preheat it and get it going. They need to preheat before they blossom out and put out the uh, the full heat. Now, like every one of these stoves I've seen that everybody has, if you've had it on high for a fairly long time and the stove's really hot and you go right over to, to, uh, to low, It'll take a while for it to come back down. It won't come right down immediately. Uh, every, every one of these stoves I've seen is that way. It's going to take a minute or two for it to come down. Uh, likewise, if you've had it on low and it's just barely simmering, and you bang it right over on high, it's not going to go on high immediately. It'll take a little while for the stove to uh, build up heat and come up. You know, a couple of minutes. Anyway, uh, that, that's, that's what I've found. See, uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to tell you on this video. I think that's it. And if you do want another stove, uh, just email me and I'll put you on the waiting list. I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors and more important than anything, try to have some fun today and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.